Everyone knows there's people out here that are assholes that all they want to do is crush everything around them, right? You know, and and so they take that into consideration when they're looking at the reviews and they go, cool, the majority, the vast majority of these reviews, they all say the same thing. They all praise the same thing. I'll buy this too, right? I've actually got customers that said, yeah, I know that that three star violates, but don't remove that one. So I'll have to manually mark that one as compliant in our system so we don't go after it because they actually want that one there. No, it makes total sense. And I think what, what you just said is you want to have a, a, a real view of people yeah. If they're keyboard warriors or not, uh, not everyone might be <laughs> actually warriors, happy, yeah. happy with your product. That can happen. Um, but what you mentioned is that competitors use the feature as yeah. a tool to harm you. And that happens more often than people think. Um, yes. Obviously, you need to have some kind of tool, some kind of strategy to deal with that. And that's where um, removing negative reviews come in. And obviously, um, you should not be able to remove anything to your liking. So there are some Correct. rules and guidelines around this from Amazon. Tell me, how does that look like? Yeah, so anybody can do a search for Amazon community guidelines, right? And what you want to pay specific attention to is a section called what's not allowed. And there's a whole list in there of what's not allowed to be in a review. Now, as you can imagine, I've gone on a deep, deep dive into Amazon's uh, policies and uh, and all of their articles and stuff like that about reviews. So I've managed to locate, I think, nine different policies or articles on Amazon. Some of them are public. Some of them are behind the login uh, wall. So you have to be logged into a Seller Central account to be able to see them. Mm -hmm. But they basically say that the purpose of the review is to assist a potential buyer to make a buying decision. That's the whole, that's the integrity of the reviews. It's okay to leave your opinions. It's okay to tell people why it didn't work, why you think it didn't work. It's not okay to slander the product, to have personal information, to have foul language, to have competitor information. And by the way, having competitor information doesn't necessarily mean that you can't have, you can't mention a competitor product. You can even put a link, an Amazon link, to a competitor product in a listing. And I'll go a little bit more into that on a genius Jeez. thing that I saw. But 